So what is a stable coin and would you ever want one? Stable coins play a valuable role for developing countries on their way to Bitcoin. In the United States, you don't need them because you already have the US dollar, which means you're already just one step away from Bitcoin <laughs> and you, you don't need to go to electronic payments first or electronic money and then Bitcoin. So stable coins, a good way to think about them is stable coins are essentially a stepping stone in developing countries to get to Bitcoin if you live in a world where you can't go all the way to Bitcoin immediately because maybe the infrastructure is not quite there yet or maybe the volatility of Bitcoin, even though it's the, the upside of Bitcoin is obviously huge and there is zero upside to stable coins because they literally cannot increase in value, but it's a step to get there for developing emerging market, meaning poor, trying to be rich countries. Obviously, if somebody onboards to a stable coin, they are you know, one step away from Bitcoin because literally with the push of a button, they can get Bitcoin. Stable coins are a great way for people to transition from physical money to a digital representation of that physical money. And then it's only one more step to transfer all the way to Bitcoin. So stable coins are a great way to onboard people in developing countries because they get used to using electronic currency. And it's pretty easy to figure out then that the best electronic currency is Bitcoin. If you're a U.S. citizen living in the United States, you already have access to U.S. dollars. Those U.S. dollars are losing value right now at more than 4% per year. You know, people who are not, who don't work for the government would argue the inflation rate's probably more like between 9% to 15%. But regardless, even the government tells you that you're losing value 4% per year, which is crazy. So uh, the adoption of stable coins has been very fast in developing countries because they're tied to the US dollar and they were already familiar with the US dollar as, be, as a better currency than their local currency. Even if it's not a great currency, it's still better than their local currency. So they are already aware of that. And so the adoption of stable coins typically happens faster than Bitcoin because for Bitcoin, you have to understand a new kind of money. But for a stable coin, you don't have to understand a new kind of money. You just have to understand that you are using an electronic version of the US dollar that is in the form of a cryptocurrency.